So I first wanted to start with demonstrating the uh, noise reduction that this radio provides. Noise reduction's now on. It does make a huge difference. Make no money that way. So they told me, well, the reason why they were referring me to a specialist, so a specialist could have a go and look at it. Turned off. Just to make sure that everything. And you'll see the uh, noise reduction light up when I turn it back on. Like I said to her too, I said, you know. I said, surgeons are in the business of using your knives. They're not the business of consulting. Let's try a different frequency. Okay, this is a weaker signal. What we can try to do is switch on the radio menu here, and we can click on RF gain and adjust that. The other thing we can do is turn on a preamp. Lower the volume. You'll notice preamp is now lit up. Noise reduction is on. Oh, okay, so um, there's a power adapter for a USB. Does that mean that the Roku has to be powered up by, by 120 all the time? Let's turn off the preamp. We'll wait for that other transmission that was pretty strong. See how that sounds without the preamp. Right. But unless the USB I'm is clear. powered through the 120, uh, I mean, the Roku is powered through that cable, it, 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 it requires that connection to cooperate, correct? Okay, so I'll just plug that in and leave that plugged in because the plug is behind the TV on the wall. So you can see that I can tune around by just tapping the screen on the frequency of the transmission on the display as opposed to tuning it manually. I'll try that preamp on this. Of course it raises the uh, noise a bit, but it does pull in the signal if the RF gain doesn't do the job. So this is with the preamp on. Yeah, my mother-in-law had two done at the same time, but it, she was uh, she was down for a lot more than uh, eight off. weeks. That, that's impressive. Uh, I, the technology has changed a lot too, right? So, and we can raise uh, the RF gain. So that works most of the time. Is what I'll do is put the RF gain higher before I try the preamp, just to keep the noise levels down. And again, with that noise reduction, it really makes a difference. We'll take it off here and see. You know, you can still hear it. But it's noisy. Yeah, very cool. Well, thanks for that. Uh, well, listen, I hope you don't get too much snow, but at the same time, I wish you do because, you know, you got to be a good Canadian. And, we can and, and then, some of that. you'll I, notice I, it's looking at uh, 192 kilohertz uh, uh, to uh, see all the signals. If we tap on the screen here, it'll drop to 96. If we drop, tap again, 
we were able to zoom in and looking at a 40 kilohertz uh, section. Now, if we want to change band, we can just hit band. We can try 40 meter. RF gain does drop back down when you switch bands. I think it will stay though if I did direct entry on the frequency, but I think because I clicked on band, it uh, resets to four. Visual. You can do things like fill in the um, signal display here if we enable this. It fills in the uh, signal strength here. Different modes you can set. The different bands is different pages, one of five all the way up to. But then the scanning I haven't done anything with yet. Let's go back to 80 meters. Also have the ability to push the power button in just once. It will turn off the screen and still work. You can even tune frequencies from here. In the event you want to save on battery power if you're portable.
Oh, that's decoding. FT8. I can even lower the volume and it will still uh, interpret those signals independent of the volume. Well, that's about it. Thank you.